Hello, and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by yours truly, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Please keep in mind that all comments made by myself, as well as any other pristine instructors and representatives, are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Starting each session, like we always do, in the upper left we have Euro US dollar, and as we can see, a very nice move higher has taken place over the last two and a half, three weeks, with last week pushing up so much so that it actually broke above resistance to our left. What does this mean, though, for prices going forward? Well, in the short term, it does mean that we could, after seeing a pullback, begin to see prices rally once again. But rally to where? And in order to really answer that question, we'd need to look at the weekly chart. And on the weekly chart, you can see that we are up into this declining moving average, and we do also have some resistance to our left over here which could create a bit of a stall. So it will be very interesting to see what happens from this point forward. If I had to guess as to what I believe would be happening here, I feel that the most likely scenario is that here the, the Euro US dollar pair will stay strong overall, but we're not gonna see as robust a rally as we saw last week so in other words yes we could see a push back up but I don't think that it will be as strong and as fluid as what we saw last week so overall still a, a, a bullish bias on euro US dollar but with some some caution in in so much as not expecting as strong a rally Moving to our right, we have Aussie US dollar, and, and it too had a very strong move up, which broke above resistance to our left over here. We've since seen prices pulling back into this support area, and they're trying to stabilize. So at this point, while it is likely this continues to stabilize and try and push higher, there's also likely going to be somewhat uh, of caution, some some struggle to move all the way back up, and that's based on the angle of retracement. So we'll see what happens here, but overall still a bullish bias, but, but I wouldn't expect it to just rally right back up without first reacting, maybe somewhere in this 50% um, retracement level. Moving to our right. We have New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, and this has still been pretty much a mess. It is slowly grinding its way higher. You can see here we've got a series of higher um, lows forming, but the highs are relatively equal. So the range continues to contract, but this is one of those sit-on-hands pairs as it really isn't doing much of anything in terms of good quality trending type of, of movement so we'll just sit on our hands and see what happens there as far as the weekly you know trying to gain a little more insight into seeing what might be causing this indecision or, or where we might ultimately be resolving uh, we see that the weekly is is really still in a downtrend it's weak it moved up into resistance and really looks like it's going to need to start coming back down this this coming week so be on the lookout for that if we break daily support levels we could then begin to see a bit more fluid movement so uh, overall a, a bit more of a bearish bias overall but still as I said primarily a sit on hands type of environment here on New Zealand dollar US dollar moving down into the bottom right chart we have US dollar yen and as we can see once again this pair has held this uh, support level down around the 118.55 level and had a pretty nice rally to the upside now we do have some resistance to the left here that we'll have to contend with and, and see how well it can be absorbed. But if, if it can hold well, if we see buyers coming into US dollar yen, we could conceivably get a move all the way back up towards this prior resistance area around uh, 121.67 or so or the or the 121 36 area so somewhere within that range is certainly not out of the question 
and when we look at the weekly time frame, the weekly is just in a very nice consolidation within what we call a stage two uptrend. So uh, with last week closing bullish, it appears as though this pair is getting ready to make a run back up towards the top of the range. So, so definitely want to be on the lookout for that possibility. But um, you know, we do have this little little bit of a sticking point. I don't see that it's going to be a major hurdle to overcome, but we do want to be aware of it. Moving to our left, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, nice downtrend in place here. We've rallied up into some resistance, and it's looking to roll over here now. And that's really the the, the bias. Uh, we want to have a bearish bias here as this is downtrending. And as we look at the weekly chart, we can see that there was a break of this sideways consolidation. And while we did get a bottoming tail at the end of last week, uh, that, that's nothing more than the retracement which we just looked at on the daily time frame. So this could easily roll right back over, showing no follow through to this bottoming tail. So uh, as I said, the overall bias is definitely bearish. This weekly could, could cause a little bit more of a, a pause, but overall, we want to go with the trend, we want to go with the flow, and the flow right now is to the downside, although you do want to be aware of this prior low, as it could cause a bit of a stall, but ultimately, your management rules will dictate how to handle this area when you reach it. You know, if you don't have a, a trading plan that addresses how to handle that type of scenario, well, then you need to consider that and you need to build something into your plan that addresses how you will manage your position if and when prices reach a prior low or prior high for that matter. You need to, to know how to manage a position at that point in time, even if that means not changing the management at all and sticking with your original approach but still needs to be addressed. And finally here in the bottom left we have pound US dollar and as you can see again very nice rally over the last uh, two and a half weeks or so. Most recently we have had a sharp retracement but this retracement is coming down into a support area so while in the short term it's come in rather sharp and, and at a more bearish angle it is coming into support and we'll see if in fact buyers begin to show up as we take a look at the weekly time frame we can see the weekly is still in a downtrend however we did have a, a nice little low set in down here we're probably not going to be seeing this low violated in the near term we while we may see a bit uh, more of a pullback I do not expect to see this low being violated here in the next two to three weeks so we'll have to, to see how this all plays out. We could, unfortunately, be in a scenario where the pound U.S. dollar begins to chop around a bit because you've got a weekly, which is in a downtrend after moving into resistance, and then you have a daily, which is trying to transition into an uptrend. So you've got these two time frames that are in conflict with one another, and so we'll have to see how that all plays out. But until next time, stay patient, stay disciplined, stay confident, and we'll talk again soon.